Hello, my name is Akhil Vibhal and here we discuss about forex trading live trade chart analysis and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to discuss or we're going to go through about our challenge that we are taking from Sabio Trade. It's a platform that I was recently started partnering with and also I'm doing their one of their account. So I'm going to show you guys uh, what is the update of that account which is the 100k challenge that we are, we are currently doing. So I'll go to the platform directly and I'll show you guys. So it's very similar to what you see in my previous video. If you have seen that video where I'm explaining about the gold trade that I was taking based on the order block. So that is the same trade that I took in this account. But for on Friday, I took some other trades as well. So, so I'll be trading using the new way of trades, which I'm taking on Friday and I'll show you guys what it is. So I'll be trading like that for this particular account for next week as well. So I'll not be using this account to trade the same way I trade uh, other funded accounts okay so let's see the trade so currently you can see i'll just put over here so these are the trades that we took for for this particular account as you can see this is the um trade that i already shared with you guys if you haven't watched the previous video please go and watch that video i already explained you guys uh, the trades you can see this is the trade that we took on monday basically we placed a trade on monday for uh, entry was supposed to be on Tuesday. It's a Tuesday order block trade, but this is uh, this hit stop loss, and this is another trade that we took on Thursday, but it triggered on Friday. It's also hit stop loss. Last week we took two trades and two trades based on our order block strategy, and both the trades hit stop loss. But we risk only half a percent. As I always say, we risk only half a percent. We are not going to risk more uh, for this particular month until we see a cushion of two percentage up. Then we'll think about risking more. So. Um, down close to 1.1% 1 .1, 1 .1 percent, 1 percentage over here but as you can see then I took some other trades so this is the new um, kind of um, how to play I wouldn't say it's a new system or anything this is the way I'm trading with a scalp scalping I'm scalping literally what is happening is I'm trading with the one minute chart so in one minute chart I'm doing some scalps with uh, gold for this particular account then as you can see initially I got stopped out and these are all the same trade okay it's not a different different trade and if you look at the timing it's all um, ended at the same level as well so almost close to same level so you can see the timing so it's the same trade basically but it's I ended in three different entries the reason being is um, in this particular Sabio trade you will not you are not able to scale out 50% of the position so that's why I ended in three different entry so I want to scale out one by one each of this uh, position that's why as you can see my position size was also quite low so these are the three losses back to back and uh, this is actually one trade that's what I want you to know this is not like three trade I ended and lose that's why I show you guys the timing of date and time of the trade open it's almost like same right it's nine o'clock 9 p.m. is the entry time for this all all of this trade then we took another trade this is where we got nice profit but this trade i didn't risk much the reason being is i already lose uh, half a percent over here so i don't want to risk more so i was risking only 0.25 percentage i cut down my risk to half but that trade did did, uh, did pay out really well so we made half a percent so basically what we lose over here is already gained back from this particular trade so these are the trades that we took so let's uh, go to trading view i show you guys how the trade look like okay so let's let's open it over here so at least you guys can see later in the trading view and i'm gonna show you so you can see the timing everything is will be matching okay so as you can see this is the trade okay so let's go to trading view so this is one minute chart of gold and you're looking at new york session okay so this particular trading style or trading strategy of scalping works only in new york session so the trades happens usually between 8.30 p.m. to 12 p.m. That is my time, I'm talking in Singapore time, UTC plus eight. So that is the time or time frame or the window in which this trade will be um, panning out. So basically it's scalping in a one minute chart. I'm not gonna explain much about the strategy or whatsoever over here, but I just wanna show you guys since I already shared with you guys in this account, all the trades will be recorded and I'll show you guys what is my mindset, how I'm approaching trading or whatsoever. So I thought it's, it's good for me to share uh, but the first two trades which is in stop loss which you want to know more you just watch my previous video which I shared where I'm explaining what was the trades that I took so it's the same thing but 
the, this is the, the trade which you will not see in the previous analysis video where I shared because this is a scalping which I did only on this account. So this is the trade that I took in the beginning uh, when the market took this liquidity of uh, before New Year session. So New Year session, this, this is a new high form in the market. So I thought it's a liquidity gap. Market trade lower break this market structure. So I was expecting the market to trade lower. So I look for fair value gap over here. The market trade back to the fair value gap, drop it. This is where I ended first. But as you can see, market trade higher and take me out. My stop loss was here. So this is the trade that you see back to back on two, three loss which is this one one two three but it's actually only one trade as i shared earlier so that was the trade so once it stopped out i was just watching the market to give me another opportunity my bias was uh, bearish the reason being is market is above a liquidity area i'm expecting the liquidity to be run out and market to trade lower so i see that kind of scenario again there's a liquidity grab market tapped into a liquidity trade lower break that market structure right over here which you can see this is the market structure broken over here. Then what I'm expecting, I want to see a fair value gap formed in the market. So I saw the fair value gap as well. And uh, I ended the trade. But as you can see, uh, market didn't trade back up to that, that fair value gap. So I was expecting, okay, I draw a fair value gap right over here also. So which, which will be here. Okay, hold on. So right over here. I was expecting at least the market to come back over here at this range but it didn't happen as well as you can see the market was still trading lower the ideal entry is oops ideal entry is up here this fair value gap. this is what i wanted initially because the market already trade back into that already one two three times after the structure was broken as you can see the structure was broken over here then the market trade back up and was consolidating at this level when it was breaking down over here i ended all these trades are ended market this is not limit orders because limit orders will not be triggered when you are trading uh, in this kind of uh, environment because you're trading with one minute chart when you trade with one minute chart your entries will not be uh, your you will not be able to get inside the trade the reason being is there's not much of um, orders there between these price ranges so what you need to do is you need to go market so when i went market actually i went market right over here or something but i was triggered up here so when i entered the position itself i was in loss so i was like okay i'll put the stop loss right above over here so this was the risk i took actually above this this one so that is about two pips two pips stop loss and i was targeting to be honest, the, my initial target was this, this sell side liquidity. Why? Because you see there is two equal loss over here. So I was expecting the market to run through that. Then I place the trade when just the trade pans out. As you can see, the market keep trading lower, took this mini sell side liquidity, then trade lower, took this sell side as well, show some rejection off, then came back over here. At that time, I closed the trade. The reason why I closed the trade, one more thing, is because there was a news release. So I don't want to have that kind of a really good position at this point of time. I'm up like close to one to two one to three uh close to there 2.5 to three risk to reward was there so i don't want to risk that that's why i close this trade manually over here which you can see also the close uh position was closed manually at 20 to 31 20 to 31 see 20 to 31 so over here i closed this position manually i didn't hold on to the position again um then as you can see the market trade lower and I took my initial take profit target which is right over here sell side liquidity so easy one two three trade so this was the trade that i took but i as i said i risk only 0 0.1 0 0.1519 percentage that's why my profit is only 0 0.5 percentage for this particular trade so moving forward for this particular account i'll be trading like this i'll be trading only like this i'll not be trading with a one hour order block so i'll be trading only in new york session for this particular account don't worry all the trades will be recorded and all the trades like this in the trading history i'll show you guys and also i'll go to the chart and explain you guys why i took the trade took that trade as well so uh, unfortunately these trades will not be shared with the telegram or anything the reason being is quite simple uh, it's i'm trading in one minute chart i don't have a type to place a trade or manage the trade i won't be able to share this position also to my the, the community okay so that's a small update regarding the sabio trade currently we are down negative 1.1 percentage i don't know how we can see that let me see if i open it up okay not here total portfolio yeah okay 
dot uh, portfolio also you are not able to see hold on okay, i think i have to move myself okay so it's over here 99 98.919 so that shows that we are down 91.1 1 91.1 percentage for this particular account okay so basically that's it guys that's all i want to share with you guys for this particular video i'll see you guys in the next video where i'm get i'll share with you guys more updates on this particular account so just one more thing to add on is for this particular account i'll be trading with only 0.25 percentage risk for this particular strategy the reason being is i may get stopped out i may have to re-enter into the trade so i cannot trade with a bigger risk for this trade because i'm scalping right so i'll be risking 0.25 percentage so what basically that lot size equivalent is you see i know you see 100 i'm not trading with 100 lots actually it's one lot uh this is one lot because uh, in sabia trade the point is evaluated based of that so this is one lot i'm trading with one lot one lot is what i'm using right now so i'll be trading only with one lot until i'm up two percentage two percent three percentage one and once i'm confident i'll be starting trading risk with two lots so you'll see 200 over there instead of 100 but only when i'm up two percentage so more updates about that uh, account in the upcoming videos and i'll share with you guys like this all the trade history as well as the account balance and also in trading view what else trade so that's it guys that's all for this particular video i'll see you guys in the next video until then stay safe